Hey, how's it going? Today I will show you how to get the best Kodi add-on, which is called Dig Xenon. Here you'll be able to watch movies, TV shows, live TV, sports, or even listen to music. And all that doesn't cost a dime. So now, without any further ado, I'll show you how to get Kodi and set up the Dig Xenon add-on. First of all, you'll have to get an app called Unloader. You can actually get it for free from the official Amazon App Store. To do so, just go to search on your device. Here it is, open it. And here in the search bar, start typing downloader. As you can see, downloader already popped out for us at the bottom, so there was even no need to enter whole name of the app. We click on downloader, and that's the app which you need to get to your device. But after you get downloader, it's not over yet. We still have to set it up. So to set up downloader, we'll go to settings. Here they are, open them, then scroll down and go to My Far TV. Open it. Here you will have to enable developer options on your device. But on some Fire Sticks, and especially on the new Fire Sticks, the developer options can be hidden by default. So if that's the case, do not worry, it's really easy to make them appear. Just go to About, select Fire TV Stick, and now click on the middle button on your remote for 7 times. And do it fast. So let's do it. As you can see, now the bottom for me it says no need, you are already a developer. That's in my case. And in your case, it's going to say that you have become a developer now. So, if you go back a bit, you will finally see developer options, which just appeared right here. So, open them, make sure to enable ADB debugging, then go to install unknown apps. From here, locate the loader and turn that option on. So, what it does, it's going to allow you to install other applications from the internet, and not only those apps which are only available in the official Amazon App Store. And that's exactly what we're going to do right now. So now, finally, let's go to the list of apps on your device. There it is, open it. And here you'll find the loader, which is set up and ready to use on your device. But before actually using the loader, there's one more thing which you always recommend doing. It's of course connecting to a VPN. In my case, I mostly use NordVPN. Because they're super fast, they got a great app for Fire Sticks, Android TVs, phones, laptops, or pretty much any other device you may use. And they are not expensive for such a premium service. In fact, they cost less than a cup of coffee per month, which is great pricing for us, the users. In the VPN app, you just connect to any server, let's say we'll connect to Germany right now, and from the moment you connect, all your traffic is going to be totally encrypted. It means nobody can track you or snoop on you online. And that's really important if you want to stay out of trouble. And if you don't have a VPN yet, but you want to try it out, I do have a great offer for you. If you use my link, which will be in the pinned comment below the video or in the description of the video, you'll get free months of NordVPN totally for free, which is an amazing offer. And if you're watching this video on your TV or on your Fire Stick, then just grab your phone or your computer, open up a web browser and go to topvpnoffer.com. That's my website, which is going to give you the same amazing deal for NordVPN with three months for free, or just scan the QR code, which you can see on the screen right now with a camera of your phone. It works the same way and it's also going to give you the same deal. Now finally, let's use the loader safely. So let's go to the list of your apps, open up the loader, wait until it loads for you. After that, on the left side menu, make sure to click on home and not on browser. So once again, click on home and here in that search bar, we got to enter a link, which is going to be Kodi dot tv so once again the link is Cody dot tv make sure to enter it exactly as you see on the screen and do not make any mistakes because obviously if you make a mistake the link is not going to work after that you have to click on go and while the website is loading make sure to subscribe my channel so you would get even more content about fire sticks as well as please hit the like button below this video it truly helps me a lot and this way i'll be able to create even more videos for you after that, you have to click on that sandwich button on the website, click on it and go to the download page. There it is, click on it. A new web page has loaded for us and we have to scroll down until you see the Android button. Click on it, then scroll down again. And for the Fire Sticks, I recommend using the rmv 7 a version. It should work for the majority of Fire Sticks. So click on it and wait until the download starts. Usually it doesn't take long but of course it all depends on your connection speed. Then click on install and wait until Kodi gets installed to your Fire Stick. 
After that, don't click on Open yet, instead press on Done, because this way we'll be able to delete the installation file, as we don't need it anymore on our device. So click on Delete, and then Delete once again. This way we get rid of unnecessary installation files from your Fire Stick, and save you some free space on your device. And that's really important, because you don't have too much of free space on your device anyway. Now go to the list of apps on your device, and there it is, open it. Scroll down and here you'll find Kodi, which we just installed. Now I would recommend you to click on the Options button on your remote, that's the button with three horizontal lines. Click on it and then press on Move to Front. This way Kodi app is always going to be at the very top of your application list and therefore it's going to be super easy for you to access the app every time you need it. Just don't forget to keep your VPN connected to stay safe and out of trouble. Once again, you can use the link below the video or just go to topvpnoffer.com to get 3 months of service totally for free. Then finally, let's open Kodi app, click on continue here, and we'll have to allow access to the files because otherwise the app would not work, so click on allow. Then we gotta go to the settings, and to do so we need to click on that cogwheel button, so we click on it, then go to the system, scroll down and go to add-ons. From here you have to turn on the unknown source setting, it's a must because we'll be using the Dixinon add-on. Then go back, go to file manager, click on add source, click on none, and here we'll need to enter a link, so our so I'll enter it on the screen right now, let's enter it together, just follow me. So here's the link, you can see it on the screen right now, make sure to enter it exactly as you see and do not make any mistakes. And then we need to click on OK. Here at the bottom you could change the name of the media source if you want, I'll just leave it as Digs Repo, click OK. Then we need to go back, click on Add-ons, then select the Install from Zip file, click on it, select Digs Repo, click on it. Then select that file, and now we have to wait a bit until it says the X repository add-on install, as it does for me in the right side of my screen. Then click on install from repository, select the Dix repository, and just wait a bit. And then go to program add-ons, and select the chief Omega wizard. Then click on install, click OK. And now the download of the chief Omega wizard has started, we'll have to wait a bit. Ok, now it was installed, now we have to wait a couple more seconds. There, click on the close button, then wait for a couple seconds again, until we see that message. From here, click on yes, and then select that free version of the Dig Xenon. Click on it, click continue, and now the build is going to be installed to your Kodi app. And the code is going to be forced closed, after that you have to turn the app back again. Let's do it. And when the app turns on, you will be able to use the Dig Xenon build on your Fire Stick. So you'll have access to movies, TV shows, music, sports, or live channels. So enjoy and see you next time. Bye bye.